Does anyone uh, ever wrote an ASO strategy? Please raise the hand who did, actually. Okay, I see. So I hope it will be uh, <laughs> really useful for you as well. And let me uh, warn you uh, in advance, it won't be a path from zero to hero today. It would be um, some tips what uh, not to miss in your strategy to succeed. So, and we will start with the question, is ASO strategy a myth as uh, several times? I uh, actually heard that there is no place for SS strategy uh, as the world changes sharply and we just cannot uh, plan long term. But the truth is uh, that um, fast changes actually do not uh, affect the uh, main uh, KPIs we have, the basics of, the, of ASO. We still are working on uh, conversion rate and the number of installs and um, fast changes could only affect uh, some um, methods we use but not actually the basics so the strategy also should um, take into account the changes of the markets of the stores and on the instruments itself so as yeah, so a strategy not a myth remember it please and use um, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, go back, please. Please, please. <laughs> uh, no, one, <laughs> one step ahead. And then, okay. Uh, some more frequent questions uh, that I've heard about this strategy is do we, I still need a strategy if I'm the only ASO specialist in the company? And the answer here is yes, you do, as ASO strategy doesn't um, uh, depend on the number of ASO people in your company, but um, the number of the people and the, the amount of the resources you have may affect the strategy you actually make. And the second uh, frequent question that I, um, please, okay. Uh, I, I, I understood, I need to say please to change the slide here. Okay, and the second uh, question here is uh, the SO strategy is so complicated. Can I live without it actually? And the answer is also yes, you can live without it, but uh, without the SO strategy, you will spend much more time to get to the desired result. Um, as we are done with the frequent questions, I guess we need to move to, please, okay. <laughs> we need to move to the definition of the strategy itself. I am pretty sure you all know it, but just in case, strategy is a general direction to achieve in the future. Um, and the strategy results from the detailed a strategic planning process. And here I want to highlight, especially the strategy is not a list of tasks. Uh, you just need to remind her when you write a strategy then, uh, that um, uh, you need to make a non-detailed plan first and then uh, divide it into tasks uh, in the most like um, short times. And the, the strategy is uh, always like from the year and over. Um, and today we will be speaking, okay, please, <laughs> no, <laughs> um, okay. Uh, today we will be speaking uh, about the elements of ASO strategy, such as plan, goals, process, structure, analytics, communication, value, and expertise. And I'll give you some tips on uh, all of them. Uh, so let's get started. Okay. Please. <laughs> no. oh, okay. Um, before we start planning our um, uh, strategy, we need to answer three general questions. Uh, what do we want? What do we need to do together? And who is our target audience? And as George Collin once said, uh, why we are here. Um, so. To um, have some plan, you can just use some mind map as I did and to just draw the 
main blocks you would be working with. Um, like here, I um, draw two platforms, iOS and Android, and divided uh, them to feedback, graphics, keywords, uh, some tags, um, vitals, and then divided them into even smaller groups. So we have a plan how to work and what would we do in the next like 12 months, for example. Um, then we need to set goals, and here I want to talk uh, about um, different um, ways to set goals, like Agile, OKRs, or, or Smart, but give you some tips, uh, like goals are the important part of the strategic plan achievement, and uh, everyone has a contribution to make. That means that you need to have not only the strategic goals of your company or your department, but every um, person in your team need to have his or her uh, personal goals to contribute in the main result of, uh, of all the department and all the company. Uh, and the second one is keep the routine in the goals uh, to have the result you never have. You need to uh, do something you never did. Uh, so um, it's easier, obviously, to make um, your goals like uh, to increase uh, installs by 15% or to increase conversion, but you can do it from uh, one uh, decade to another, from uh, one year to other. And uh, here I suggest you to make, um, to set your goals on something you never did. For example, if you never tried custom product pages, set a goal to learn them, to make a plan how to work with them, and then move on. Uh, and um, for the team, uh, sometimes it gets really difficult in the beginning to set those goals, but by the iteration it gets easier, and believe me, uh, <laughs> it works. Um, the next one is processes. Uh, as we know, process is a set of repet repetitive sequential actions, and processes help you and your team to communicate uh, to, with the colleagues uh, and also to um, easily integrate other people in uh, your processes, uh, new people especially, and you, uh, and you need, don't need to uh, waste a lot of time to um, actually tell someone how to do something. You just can give them uh, processes to read and they know how to do it. They can ask questions, of course, but uh, anyway, and then uh, they can go there from you know, time to time to just remind us something that they need to do. And transparent processes also help you to um, show your work to your management, to uh, the colleagues from the other departments, and uh, understand what is happening at any point of um, your journey. Um, okay. The next one is structure. And I know that always um, we're speaking of structure of the de department or uh, structure of work itself, and here I want to highlight two uh, very important things. It's uh, uh, use the unique naming for creative experiments, campaigns, etc., because it helps you to um, find something easily in no time. And if you don't, you can end up like here, like on the picture. It's like several. Um, maps with the, with the uh, several folders with the completely um, same names and you don't know, even know what is there and how it worked and what's happening. And the second tip here is, um, okay, um, form the backlog of experiments um, as it helps you to save the legacy, to check what tested before and don't make the same mistakes, or to use the, uni uh, the winning cases over and over on the similar projects. Uh, easily find the test results, uh, found learnings if uh, experiments went, uh, went well on several 
uh, projects of the same genre, for, for example, and counts your work's value. And here I won't tell you how to count work's value by now, but uh, remember it. I'll tell you about it a bit later. So the next one is analytics. And here I want to uh, tell you that even double uh, green experiment in Google Play um, cannot be actually successful. So uh, don't make hasty decisions and always double check the results on the real data as uh, double green could be the minus on the real data as well. Uh, and also don't forget to monitor the um, additional factors that your work could affect. For example, you can change the icon and ruin the retention. At the same time, uh, if the icon is uh, like mislead or is something similar to your competitors and uh, people want something uh, other. Uh, so when you uh, think that experiment is uh, actually winning, try to um, check the, da uh, the real data, data and also to uh, check the retention and other metrics to be completely sure that it works. Uh, the next one is communication, and I guess, and I'm pretty sure that uh, the communication is actually a crucial part of ASO works, as um, ASO uh, is situated in the middle of the acquisition funnel, and almost all the incoming traffic goes through the uh, app page, so you uh, need to, or even I said, I would say, must to communicate to um, other teams. And here I um, draw. I have drawn just some of them. You actually need to communicate with user acquisition, graphic, motion, cross promo, support, product, content, and so on, and so on, and so on. Um, that actually uh, helps both of the uh, sides. When you communicate with uh, your colleagues, you get the better results, both you and them. Um, the next one, and probably uh, the most desired, is value, how to show a value besides the number of installs and CR. Uh, okay, the transparency of your processes uh, and of your work uh, and strategy itself uh, sometimes shows a business that you are going seriously and you are working seriously. It's not the, some chaotic uh, tasks. You know what you do. And uh, the percent of well-performed ex experiments proven by data, actually, that's why you need a, a backlog of experiments to show your value. For example, you have like 1,000 experiments in a year, and 30 of them are successful. So uh, every third experiment is successful, and that's um, the, one of the key metrics could, that could uh, show the business that actually yes, ASO have value. And one more uh, thing to show your value is the cross-team efforts, as we, we've been spoken recently. Um, the team efforts go, uh, give us the more, um, more, more positive result more, and more money in the end. Uh, and the last but need not the least is expertise. Uh, and in the world of uh, fast changing uh, digital markets, um, we need to learn every day something new and we don't cease to, to don't stop to uh, learn ever, I guess. It, not, it doesn't depend are you a junior specialist or you are a team lead. Uh, you need to learn every day something new and try something new every day. Uh, and implementing new features before your competitors does, uh, do actually um, can make you one step ahead and that's uh, where the true success lies. So I guess that's all for today from me. Uh, oh, okay, let's show the, the last slide, please. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for your attention.